All right, I just want to show you a little bit about Coach's Eye and how you can use it to analyze skill performance. Um, you can see on the left-hand side there are a bunch of different selection tools. And again, you can obviously use the selection tools in many different ways. I'm just trying to show you a few uses of them. As of right now, um, you can see though there are some straight lines, you've got some arrows, things like that. Now there are some of them that are uh, on the bottom side that aren't free anymore. Um, you might have to pay a little bit more to use those. Um, there's a little clear tab on the bottom right, so if you ever want to clear the anything off that you've drawn, drawn, you hit the clear tab. You've also got a scroll bar at the bottom, and this is why it's called stop motion video analysis, because you can scroll, stop, again, analyze at any point in time, um, so you can give your students a better no, uh, better knowledge base and a better understanding of, of what they're doing. Um, so that is the basics of the Coach's Eye app. Your scroll bar, all your tools on the left hand side, and then your clear button. Now, to actually analyze the video, you'll see the record button at the top. Um, when I'm ready to analyze it, I'll just hit that record button. Whatever I do on my screen at that point in time automatically gets recorded and it'll turn that into a specific video. And again, it records it until you hit the record button again and then it is complete. All right, we're ready to show you the video analysis of a basketball player, Miss Liberta, shooting a basketball. First thing you're going to do is hit the record button on top and now you are making a video. I'm going to use the yellow button to start just to show you right here that both of her feet are in a balanced position. They're squared towards the hoop and she's put herself in a good spot ready to shoot, balanced. I also like to use the term bend for my B. So again, you can see that bend at your knees, see the bend at your elbows, and even that bend at your wrist to get you prepared to shoot. You can also see that her eyes are focused right here on the rim, just like they should be. So nice work there. She's going to start her extension. So you can see great extension through her legs, perfect extension through her arms. And of course, the last right here is follow through. You can see with that snap of the wrist, it's going to get some good back spin on that basketball, so that basketball will be rotating uh, back towards her. And of course, with a shot like that, she nails it. Now I hit the record button, and that's going to finish my video analysis. I can just give it a title here. Miss Liberta. Except I didn't spell it right. And... It has successfully been analyzed, and it's just going to do a quick uh, building of the analysis, and then you're just able to play it right away. And that is an awesome. Last video analysis I want to show you is just a strategy video analysis, and this was for Team Handball, and my students did this, and they were looking for three objectives. First objective was that you have someone that knows how to block shots, so he's actively blocking a shot and knocking it down as a goalie. So they would stop and they would talk about it there. They would also talk about students like here, a defender falling back on defense now. So they're trying to fall back and attempt to fall back faster than the offense. And then the last thing that they're going to talk about is the defender positioning themselves between the object, which was the person with the ball, and the person without the ball, uh, where it's trying to go to. And then they'll show that they intercepted it and they played some really good defense by positioning themselves well. And then the last time they also showed was our two yellow players falling back quickly on defense with haste. Another great way to use video analysis.